Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about these romance books made me feel disappointed. Now, it's not that I hate these books, it's just I wish they turned out a bit differently than they actually are, because to me, they're not that great. They're just very disappointing. Like, all of these books that I'm ranking right now that I'm going to mention are all a 6 out of 10. They're not any lower than they already are. And also, spoiler alert for any of you guys who've already read these books, because I'm about to, you know, mention a lot of spoilers and the reasons why these books made me feel disappointed. Now, anyway, on to the first book. The first book that made me feel disappointed is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Now, this book was interesting at first, but then after a while, after I finished reading this book, it got very disappointing because the main female character, Ava, just wouldn't stop asking Alex, the main male character, about his secrets, like what he's really hiding. Like, seriously, lady, let the man keep his secrets. Like, when two people are in a relationship and start to get to know each other, they don't have to reveal every single secret that they have. It's not like that secret box episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob gets all needy and asks Patrick what's in that box. And also, speaking of Alex, I'm not a big fan of his character because he's he's kind of a stalker towards Ava, not kinda. He is a stalker towards Ava and not just a stalker. He's very possessive towards Ava. Like when Ava has like a guy friend over, Alex automatically assumes that he's gonna, that guy friend is gonna steal his girl. Like he gets so possessive over her. Like he threatens to kill um, Ava's guy friend or something like that. Like honestly, Ava and Alex deserve different people. I feel like Ava deserves much better. And besides, Alex specifically told Ava that he's not the guy to be around or to date with because he's not that good of a person. And I kind of agree. If any of you are given a warning about a person saying that they're not good to be around, but, she, but Ava just does it anyway. She just doesn't give a shit. She's gonna, she gets her heart broken anyway. So honestly, those two people deserved much better. They deserve different people. Alex deserves to just handle his stuff by himself, but Ava deserves someone else because Alex is not the right person for her. Anyway, on to the second book. The second romance book that made me feel disappointed is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Now, I know a lot of people like this book, but this book just didn't seem that good after I finished reading it. Like, I thought it was gonna make me cry, but it turns out it didn't. The only part of this book that made me feel like some sort of interest towards it was the relationship the main female character Poppy had with her grandmother because Poppy's grandma was dying of lung cancer and Poppy was like eight years old or something at the time. And I love that part where um, Poppy's grandma was explaining to her about these little paper um, paper hearts that she would put in a jar signifying a thousand boy kisses and then giving it to her granddaughter Poppy. And it was super cute. But the whole relationship between Poppy and her love interest Rune just wasn't that interesting to me. And also the big plot twist of Poppy having cancer wasn't that surprising to me. As soon as I figured out that Poppy was um, tired and weak, I, autom I automatically knew that it was cancer and it was not that surprising when it was actually revealed to be cancer. So if any of you guys like this book, I am very sorry. So it's just not that great, didn't make me cry. But the part with um, Poppy and her grandma, that kind of almost made me cry. But if they, if they made a book about Poppy and her grandma specifically and just skip the whole part about Poppy and Ruin's love re um, relationship, you know what? I'd be interested in reading that because Poppy and her grandma is the best part of the book in my opinion. So anyway, on to the third book. The third and final book that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is... They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Now, the reason why this book made me feel disappointed is because I wish the two main male characters, Mateo and Rufus, I wish they got to know each other better instead of just one day because they both knew that they were gonna die in one day. So 
they both just became friends immediately in one day. Like, I just wish things would just take a slow turn. Like, things should slow down. I feel like things were just going too fast, you know? And that that part didn't also make me feel disappointed. The whole the whole thing with the death cast organization of these people who are in the organization, how do these people know that Mateo and Rufus were going to die in that on that specific day on September um September 5th? How do they know? Are they fortune tellers or something? Can they read people's minds? Like how can they just sit there in that organization, you know, building on their desk and call up somebody, "Hey, it's me, Deathcast. I just want to let you know that you're going to die on this certain day. You got to prepare your, you know, final wishes and say goodbye to your family or blah, 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 and your will or whatever. It's just, it didn't make sense to me. I automatically knew that this book was fiction. I mean, I knew there wouldn't be any non-fictional things in this book specifically, but it's just the whole death cast thing was such confusing. Like, what is this thing? What is the death cast really about? It's just, whew, it just didn't make any sense to me. I w this book could have been so much more about Mateo and Rufus just getting to know each other. If it wasn't about the death cast thing and them only dying in one day and they have to get to know each other in one day, if they were just, you know, getting to know each other for maybe a few months, maybe a few years... I would have been hooked on that book immediately, but the whole death cast thing just it just ruined it for me. And the whole thing of both of them dying at the end of the book, it wasn't that sad to me. Like with a big title such as they both die at the end, some people cry at this book, but to me it just I just shrugged it off. Not that sad to me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.